We now have a project ready to load into the memory of our Click CPU. So what do we do next? It would be a good idea at this point to apply power to the Click and bring it to life. The Click CPU works with 24 volts DC applied to it. There's a small removable terminal block on the bottom of the Click CPU module for wiring power to the CPU as shown here. We can use one of two available optional Click 24 volt DC power supplies to provide the power. The C0-00AC power supply provides a half amp and will work with limited configurations of expansion I.O. modules, while the C0-01 AC at 1.3 amps will work with any combination of I.O. modules. The other choices are to use a properly sized and rated 24 volt DC power supply that you may have on hand or possibly use an Automation Direct Rhino series power supplies as we see here. Start by preparing different color wires to attach between the power supply's terminals and the removable connector on the bottom of the Click CPU. Use blue for the positive terminal, white for the common, and green for the ground terminal. Cut each wire to a length that will easily reach between the power source and CPU's terminals and strip a small amount of insulation off of each end. Connect the blue wire between the positive terminals, white between the common terminals, and of course, the green wire between each device's grounding terminal. It will be easier to connect the removable terminal block on the CPU with it removed. Once it is wired, plug the terminal block back into the CPU. Next, wire an AC power cord to the power supply's AC voltage terminal. Typically, this involves black wire of the power cord to the line terminal, white to the neutral terminal, and green to the ground terminal. If you aren't comfortable working with AC line voltages, then please by all means enlist the help of a qualified electrician or an acquaintance that normally works on wiring AC line powered devices. Once you have the power supply connected to the Click CPU, apply AC voltage to the power supply. Confirm the green LED power indicator on the Click CPU module is on. If the power indicator is not on, then a little troubleshooting is in order. Check the voltage on the terminal block with a voltmeter. If you measure 24 volts DC on the terminal block and are confident that the power supply being used is sized correctly, then more troubleshooting will be required. We now have our Click CPU powered up. In the next video of this series, Part 6, we will establish communications between the PC and the Click CPU module. Until next time, thank you for watching. Have a great day.